Welcome to Think Alive. We're Sharon and Andy, just two people with a dream and a vision of restoring our traditional stone-built farmhouse in southern Spain, transforming it into a beautiful off-grid home and sharing our journey with you. Well, good morning everybody. Welcome back to The Thinker. Um, we just had a trip out this morning, just having my coffee. Cheers. Because um, we needed to get some catches to hold this closed. We were going to go for magnets, but we couldn't find any. Um, and some little knobs, obviously, to open it with. Um, and then, once Andy's got the top on, we, I can get everything back in the cupboard, out of the way, and then we can move on to this. Um, on the way back, we stopped off at the local farm. It's literally a stone's throw away. You will have seen on previous videos all the goats that wander around the land and eat the weeds. Um, well, the, the goat farm is, as I say, just uh, across the way, and they actually sell cheese. They make um, goat's cheese. So we've been meaning, two and a half years we've been here, we've been meaning to go and have a look at this place. Um, so we popped in on the way back and we bought some lovely goat's cheese, queso fresco, that one, and this one is a cured goat's cheese, apparently very good on pizza, so we'll be having a pizza later and trying that. And um, I'm thinking for lunch we might have a bit of this on the plancher with some of our homemade plum jam, so exciting. But yeah, it's a lovely place really friendly chat so we know where to go now for our cheese so i'm just going to finish my coffee and then uh, we'll crack on right so the silly catches didn't work and um, we can't fix them to our type of cupboard so we've got the old bolts off the shutter i've had to modify the the receiver but if i stick that on there now it should work hold the door shut temporarily um, which you know means it'll be forever and other things just falling out of that guys this stuff how rubbish is this stuff right i'll get it on and um we'll see if we can sort it out right so eventually we've got our catch on it <laughs> we're going to get some magnets for it still um but for now that'll do the job see if we have any more joy with the handles um little black ones you get a little threaded thing with them, you just cut them down, you got little cutty down points on them to the thickness of your door. Drill a hole through the door, and um, in theory, it should go straight in. So I need to measure and mark these so we get them both the same height and in the same place. Today I'm going to bet that that drill bit's not big enough and I'm going to have to go and get a bigger one. Oh, looks got better. Right, get these on. There we are. get the other one done. Right there we go at last. Right let's get this lid sorted out. Some proper work done. So Andy's uh, just putting the finishing touches to the top and then that can be fitted and then I can get this oiled. But in the meantime where the other catch was here we've got a couple of little holes that we need to fill in and the same down at the bottom. So I got my wood filler, my sandpaper. I'm just going to rub it down gently and then put some of this in, she says. So. And you'll never know. Perfect. So this is how we left the lid. Um, we just glued it all together. Um, there was a couple of big holes where the knot had fallen out 
we put some expanding foam in that, it's gone off. So now we're going to fill it, we're going to fill it with a darker filler. Um, so it looks like a knot again, not that you'll be able to see it, but um, we're going to have a go. Oh, Sharon is. <laughs> is, it, is it coming out? It's coming out, it's not been tough. I'll get you a plastic scraper to... Yeah. So by the time I've sanded all the rest of it down, I want the corners, the edges nice and round and the corners round. Um, yeah, right, we'll do it. <laughs> see if it fits. Right there we go, it's on. Um, Saren likes this bit of an off cut, we're going to put as a bead across the front there. Fancy it up a little bit. And um, so all that remains now is to get some screws in it through the, the thickest bits in the corners. So we'll have a look and get that worked out. Again I'm just going to pilot them first. Just uh, so we don't split the wood. Right, I'll get this one in first. And then we'll do the others. work here. Trying to get it lined up for that, but I reckon that'll do it. Yep. <laughs> Excellent. Where's my screws? Just the last one now over there. Right, I'll just get this cut now. We can get that in place. Super. Right, so I've got this little trim now to go on the front there. I've just I've actually cut it at 45 degrees. Um, it fits pretty nicely. I think we're just going to nail it on, nail it and glue it. Um, and then a little bit of sand and just to chamfer the edges off equal. It should look quite nice. So. Yeah, Sam's just gone to plug the compressor in so I can get the nail of doing. Bit of glue. Let's see if we can do this. Ah. <laughs> oh gosh! One, go down. <laughs> Super, lovely. Right, let's give this a rub off now, make it all nice and rounded and blend it in. Same on this side. 
Right. That's pretty good, I think. It's ready for oiling. Right, so Sharon's going to stick some oil on that cupboard and then I'm going to get this side um, blanked off, I think. Like I did before, and if you saw that, but I'm just going to cut 10 pieces in the pack. Um, nice and quick, one cut, easily done. Um, yeah, so I'll go and cut them. I forgot I'd actually already opened this pack <laughs> to take one out for the other one, but it should still work. I have said before but cutting these off a full length the, the off cut is actually an exact width to go on the back um, on the inside so once Sharon's oiled that cupboard we can put all this lot in it and then I can clear the shelf off and then get the back on um, in the meantime I'm going to carry on with this lovely Meantime, back on the oily. It's going to look lovely this when it's done. So satisfied knowing it's made out of scrap, really. <laughs> Fantastic. This side's done, you can just about make it out on there. What I want to do next is put a big chunky piece up the side just to come over there just to finish off all this this end here. Um, I think I've got a piece long enough so I'll go and have a look. So this is the piece I've got for the end. Um, okay. Just going to round this corner off here. Um, it's a little bit more rustic than I'd like. <laughs> it's got uh, all sorts of scabby bits on it. It's got staples stuck in it. A um, bit more reclaimed than we'd like, yeah. So I'm going to give this a sand up, get all these staples out and try and make it look a little bit nicer. Although we don't mind a bit of rusticity. Um, this is a bit too far. So the first job is to get the staples out of it. I've got on this little car trim remover things. It's really great for getting staples out. up by a pair of pliers of course. Just going to draw the radius that I want on it. Just using a piece of tape to um, give me a nice curve and um, see if I can follow that. We'll have a go anyway. quite difficult to get this into position where you can see it but um, it's actually going in there like that 
Um, you can see that. I think it's about the best I can do. I can't get the camera in any further. So, what I'm going to do first is get them in position, get a screw in the top, which is easy, right through there, and then get two more further down. So, I'll get that done. Oh, well, it's in. The drill kicks on me and I've marked the wall, so luckily in line wash we just give it a quick touch up again. Not what I wanted to do, but these things can't be helped. Um, excellent, happy days. So you know how these jobs always get bigger. Um, just on that side, it looks really smart. Um, we're thinking now we need to need the same on that side, just to finish that edge up where it meets the cupboard there where we've got our little space. Oh, <laughs> so the trouble is moving that one now. Um, but yeah, it needs to be done, I think. So I've done all the frame, I've done all the insides of the doors. That one's done on the front, so I've just got the final bit to do. <laughs> then we've got to move it again. Never mind. Right on, you know, drop the pencil. I've got this piece cut. I'm just gonna offer it up to this and just draw around that radius just to make sure I get them the same or pretty similar anyway. There we go, we'll go for that. Right, I'm gonna get this cut and sanded like we did with this one. Right, okay, so I had a various plan or two to get this in, but in the end I've had to move that out of the way. No way around it. So, I'm just going to try and offer this up now. We've got a big bulge at the bottom of the wall. Um, so I need to take um, a slice out of the bottom of it. It's actually got, <laughs> we're scratching about that much for wood. It's actually got a notch there anyway, so I'll probably just take it out up to there, maybe a little bit, um, just allow it to set back where the stone's sticking out of the bottom, so we've got back flush and vertical, so I'm going to do that now, there we go, it fits now, excellent, um, let's get a couple of screws in it, and then we can carry on. There we go, another good job, well done. I'm going to leave this cupboard where it is for the time being. Um, that needs oil in now as well. Um, yeah, so we'll find somewhere else to do. The next thing I want to look at is um, the shelf for up here. Um, the idea is, or the plan is at the moment, um, to put a big double width shelf about that thing along the way up there, just so, so someone can reach it because it's not as tall as me, and um, put the light underneath it that'll like the work to put that's the plan at the moment um it should work all right we've kind of figured it out um i've got one piece of this left the reclaimed stuff um it's a bit scabby but i should just be able to squeeze two two meter lengths out of it um so we'll have a look this is the piece in question um it's just about four meters long got a pulley on one end it's got an eyelet in there, it's got various coach bolts in it, um, but it should clean up all right. Mainly what we need is a good a good edge because it's going to be about eye level. Um, so I'll see if about getting all these bits stripped off it and um, see what we can do with it. As always, it's got um, tapered corners on it at the minute, so I'm just going to whip them off and cut it in half. And then two smaller pieces, a bit easier to work with in a four meter length. this is coming out <laughs> some of it's a bit worse for wear this but we'll sort it out one bit of rubbish gone and I don't think there's any more in this one this one however Pull 
properly on this end. The ball side of the screw, the bolts have been hammered in, and a big iron bolt, it should come out with a, if not a screwdriver, a big bar. There we go. Right, get this out and just get this pulley off. Got some pretty, pretty grim slits, splits in this end. Look at that. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to prise it apart as much as I dare, and then stick a load of wood glue in it, and then clamp it back together. I did consider putting a couple of screws through it as well. Um, if I put this through the back one, if I put them through like that way, long ones, you won't see them. Um, We'll try the glue thing first. One of the good things about wood glue, if you um, if I pour it in, any that's on the surface, it just literally just wipes off with a damp cloth or a wet cloth. So I'm just going to open this up using said pry bar. <sighs> pour some glue in it. I don't want to go too far because I don't want to split it all the way down. <laughs> plenty in there. I reckon this should work though. Come on, get in glue. on the end there. Let it just run down a bit. It's not coming through yet. Get some clamps on it. But this one's not big enough. <laughs> no, get some bigger ones. now and um, wipe that off. So this is the best face of this. Um, the other side's got a, a sawn off screw missing from it and that. So I'm just going to get this front edge sanded down. Um, then I'll decide which I want for the top or the bottom. It doesn't really matter. I think they're both alright but they'll probably both need sanded anyway. So in the first instance I'll um, get this edge done. Do up where I can around the clamps and I'll move the clamps. seems to spend my life in a corner and um, just want to quickly get this oiled so that we can get the cupboard back in position and um, then Andy can get those shelves up. Exciting! So there we go. Takes a bit of work starting to reclaim stuff out, but the um, results are worth it, especially as it's free, um, even better. So, all I need to do now, uh, all I need to do is make some brackets um, for it, 
now to fix it to the wall but I've run out of steel well I've got a bit of steel left but not enough to make the brackets so I'm gonna have to go and pick some up right that's done all we've got to do now is see if we can get this back in here We know, it, we know it fits, it came out. There we go, come on, behave. That's it. Oh. This is why we wanted to to do it before build it in place because it's just getting heavier. <laughs> it needs to come this way a bit now. Right, I'll have a fiddle about with this, get it back where it was. And then we're back to where we were. And there we go. Um, it's darkening already this, if you can tell, I don't know, it doesn't take long. Um, in, in about well, a couple of years it'll all probably be the same colour. Like in the corral that all used to be super loud and now it's all gone really rich and lovely. Um, so I think we're going to call it a day there. Um, I need to go and get this steel um, to make the, the brackets for the shelves over there. Um, so that'll be coming up on the next video I'm sure. Um, so thank you so much for watching. Thanks to all our subscribers. Welcome to our new subscribers. Thanks to everyone that's bought us a coffee or a beer. It's much appreciated. And of course to our Patreons. We'll see you on the next one.